So what are the wildlife we're concerned about? Number one is the opossum. From a wildlife standpoint, the opossum is number one in North America as a reservoir for cat fleas. Uh, number two is going to be the raccoons. Um, and then after that, we can talk about coyotes, bobcats, red and gray foxes, things like that. Uh, those traditional felids, canids, uh, at, those are the ones that basically carry the fleas uh, that will carry the cat flea. Um, and they do very well on them. And some of these numbers can be very, very large. So opossums, again, are number one. And there's a lot of data out there that shows that. Uh, whether you're talking about Southern California, uh, Florida, or Kansas, or Chicago, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. Um, and I would ask this question. Do any of you live someplace that you do not have one of these animals visiting your neighborhood? And the answer is no. We all do in North America uh, someplace. Um, and, that, and that's that's the issue we face. It's not wild rabbits. I'm sorry. It's not wild rabbits. Domesticated rabbits get cat fleas. Wild rabbits do not carry the cat flea. It's extremely, extremely rare. Uh, there's only a couple of cases of this ever in the literature, and this is where they've gone out there, and they've, somebody's gone out there, and they've, they've trapped 127 cottontail rabbits and did, did a parasite survey, and they've taken 87,000 fleas off those cottontail rabbits, and of the 87,000 fleas, there were three cat fleas. Okay? Um, what rabbits in North, Amer North America have their own flea complex that are basically rabbit-restricted. It's not squirrels. Sorry, tree squirrels do not carry the cat flea. They have their own flea complex, uh, generally in the genus Orcopius, usually Orcopius tocopus or Orcopius howardi. Um, in fact, there's only one publication ever in North America. It was, eight, it was in 1952 out of Georgia, an entomologist by the name of Moran. He's the only person in North America in a wildlife survey who's ever found a cat flea on squirrels. He found six in 1952. Other than that, no one who's ever done a wildlife survey in any state or any Canadian province in the United States in North America has ever found a cat flea on a squirrel other than Moran in 1952. Uh, they're, you know, they all have fleas on them, but they're not the cat flea. So don't, don't, no. um, if anybody who's ever seen a road, road kill squirrel or road kill rabbit, you walk over there and fleas on them, and they, and, and they think a flea is a flea is a flea. I'm sorry, that's not the cat flea. Um, that's something else. 